nine inches of rain. Mm -hmm. We couldn't fathom this. And look at this tractor trailer moving down the interstate and causing these Let's waves. Go, waves. Cars are oh, floating and bouncing. See the area along Bell Road completely flooded out. The raging Cumberland River is directly behind the TV station. All that stands between us and a washout is a grassy retainer wall that's quickly eroding. Do not come up to this building. In Blue Hole Road, but I want to give you a look at this. This is really the first time we've been able to give you a live on the ground look at the situation. Yes, yes, yes. Did you hear me holler for you? Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Good citizens are trying to help an elderly lady get out of the, the flooded area. It looks like they're going to just try to carry her out of this flood. one of those water rescues we were telling you about, an elderly woman and her pet uh, being taken to safety there. Around midnight, rescue crews, resources already stretched thin, were working to pull families to safety. It's a reminder of a time past, a reminder that times have been tougher, a reminder of an important word, community. Now amazed at what they've lost. We bought papers, albums, pictures, antiques, collectibles. But in the midst of the destruction of a dream, hope. When we left, it was about an hour ago, and there was about 18 inches of water on the bottom floor. So, it's okay, we're together and that's all we need. We gotta do it ourselves. We can't wait on no one else. Show after show, crew members who can make it and those who are braving the threat are changing hats. All this effort to stay connected to our community. We had to come up with a backup plan to get you the news. To move all this equipment, of course, with the photographers and reporters up here now into the loading dock to put the stories together. Our photographer is floating down the street. Looks like some folks are up on top of the Pet Boys store there. I want you to understand these firefighters are doing this without life preservers. So to keep them safe, look what they've done. They've attached a line to a post. It is an absolute disaster zone over here. Look at these cars. These cars are piled on top of each other. On your screen, you can see the house floating. My goodness. This is a lot of water. <laughs> 